Good morning all passengers and welcome to our Vanderbilt University Transit Station. So as you can see here behind me, here is Vanderbilt University. Vanderbilt University is a 260 acre college campus. It serves currently 1,500 students with off-campus living and on-campus living. Vanderbilt University has many different specialties and programs including bachelor's associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees in math, mathematics, science, education, robotics, healthcare, transportation, law, and many other course subjects. Vanderbilt University is a Title I for-profit school and also accepts government funding. Vanderbilt University has existed on this campus for a long time but has, ex has went undergo extreme renovation and expansion in order to add more programs. As of right now, Vanderbilt University also has medical degree programs in over 30 different specialties and we also have doctorate degree programs in religion and master's programs. One of the largest programs here at Vanderbilt University is our transportation program. Here is a field map of the KRTA network. I'm pretty sure you have seen this in stations many times, but yes, this is the actual copy of a station map. Now, this large building behind me is the main building with many different programs. It is four stories at the bottom for four larger programs and it's split into two towers up top for housing smaller programs. The white building next to that also holds different legal programs as well as foreign relations programs. Not many athletics at this particular school, but there are indeed athletic fields spread throughout the community. With the renovations of Vanderbilt University, you may begin to see more athletic programs, however. So as we're circling this building here, a lot of the buildings are new and we're getting rid of the factory looking concept nowadays to make the school buildings look more friendly and inviting. Lots of on-campus parking, however, Vanderbilt University students can take the bus for free. KRTA provides free transit to Vanderbilt University students in exchange for the ridership numbers. Of course, anything to get the ridership. So, as we approach this light here, we are going to take a trip on one of the most popular routes to Vanderbilt University. A lot of people may not know this, but the most commonly used station for Vanderbilt University is not actually the Vanderbilt University Transit Station. That is mainly for students who enter via the green train or the school train. The most common station for Vanderbilt University students is actually through the Winters Chapel Station. Yes, the Winters Chapel Station is the most commonly used station for students attending Vanderbilt University.
So as this bus enters the bus loop in Vanderbilt University in the Winters Chapel Station, let's see what this particular station has to offer. Winters Chapel Station is designated as S2 on the South Line. It is the last point where trains, purple and red trains, can run together. This station was redesigned and rebuilt many times in order to allow appropriate transferring of the train services. So now trains can transfer, passengers can transfer without issue from the purple services to the red services. Fun fact, there, the old Winters Chapel Station actually still does exist. The old Winters Chapel Station is closed and is still there to this day. We're going to take a quick journey there right now. This is the old Winters Chapel Station. It used to be very cramped, not very effective. The platform was extremely too short. As you can see, people have broken in and vandalized the station. Winters Chapel Station of course is in our top 10 most impressive abandoned stations. This is the old offloading platform for persons that have finished riding the purple train. As you can see the lapis floor is still there. This station this type of flooring is heavily associated. The copper that used to be extremely well maintained has since oxidized. This station was developed and built in the year 1974, as well as with Grand Central Hunter College and King's Cross 14th Street stations. As you could see, this particular station is in fact a uh, from the same time period because back then it was not uncommon to see this particular pattern in the station as well as copper dotted throughout the station. There was a huge copper craze in the early 70s. This used to be the access to the northbound platform. But as you can see, all the exits has been since vandalized and broken into. The city of Melchizedek has not decided what to do with this station because it has sat abandoned for a long time. Unbelievably, a very long time. Thank you for this for watching this video. We hope you like and subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.